How much does it cost to start a BV? Is it worth for you to do? Uh, hi, welcome to Yapri Vlogs, and I'm gonna answer these questions because I actually did it. As you can see, like the total cost of a BV is 11,000 euros, approximately. These are actually all costs I got already, and these two will happen in the future. So it turns out that like the advice part is probably like the most domineering of it all, but it's more than just uh, figuring out what structure fits my situation. Uh, it's also making sure that there are contracts that will help you deal with the tax service. Because he told me that actually there are situations where the tax service will reject your proposal to become BV and then, you know, they may make an example out of you. They want to like make like a point. And he, he told me about like having a disagreement with the tax service and he had to actually go to court and like get a judge involved and eventually just fight the tax service to make sure that uh, his structure got through. So I, I think you're also kind of paying for this support um, if that were to occur. I mean, yeah, like if you want to do this and you probably should get a tax advisor as well, which is going to cost about uh, 4.8 thousand euros. Uh, and then, you know, the next cost, you have to do uh, a notary. So this is just to get all your documents ready to, uh, you know, make it official. And then you also got like administration costs, which involve uh, the, uh, like the notary needs a bunch of documents to start making their own documents. So that's what they did. I think you can do this yourself. Yeah. And like the tax advisor, this is probably stuff you can do yourself. Aside of it being boring, I'm just also not good at it. So. They do a much better job than I. So I think it's worth it, you know, like focus on stuff that I think are fun and that actually make me more money, you know. <laughs> and then you got the Chamber of Car Commerce stuff. So this is like the registration part. So you also have to pay this because, you know, it's like there's no way around it essentially. Uh, and then, you know, uh, you have to create custom bank accounts. Uh, I just like did an off the shelf calculation, but these business bank accounts cost 10 euros. And uh, again, you can keep on happily flying with N26, but the administration bureau told me to get my shit together and actually get the Dutch bank account. So yeah, they're more expensive. And it was quite difficult to find a bank account as well because uh, the structure I have is like non-standard uh, and that makes them kind of wary. So you have to go to the big banks like ING or Rabo. And then finally, there's like the end of year administration cost and they, they, they give me a ballpark estimate of how much this would be, but it's, it's gonna be around 2,500. And what's happening here is there is like, you know, three separate balance sheets being made, three separate income and expense statements because, you know, we got the Soyapi software, which is the working company. Then we got the holding company. And then, you know, we got this other thing, which is also required to get more tax advantages. So yeah, I'm paying a little bit for that. Uh, and yeah, this kind of administration, I, I definitely think you can't do on your own. Uh, it's just too complicated. <laughs> yeah, so I want to go back to the comparison because yeah, I forgot to take into account the upstart costs of a BV previously. So I just gonna like put it into here now. And then finally, I also um, added a column of what actually happened. So I couldn't start a BV on January anymore. I was too late. Administration office in like April and I was essentially too too late to make the, the January deadline. So this is, you know, this like little joke has cost me around 3000 euros in net income, which is a shame, but yeah. Gotta be on time, you know, I'm better late than ever, I guess. Yeah, so uh, I have to pay way more. Uh, a larger portion of this is become, becoming like income. Uh, that's fine. And then, yeah, so that's a 22, uh, I have to pay this. Uh, I know for a fact it's gonna be around that number because they gave me an estimate. So yeah, they're doing it better than I do. So I'm <laughs> just using their estimate. And you know, this is our, this is like mostly observation, observation based. So we know this is correct. And then what's happening here is that this is modifying our brute profit because these are costs that I'm, these are like business expenses, right? So my profit is going down. Uh, and that's that's quite good because you can see the taxes are also going down uh, because of the, you know, having less profit. So taking that into account, we can uh, make a comparison. What if I would have done nothing? Uh, I would have uh, had a net income of around 78,800. And we know this number is correct because I can just chug it into a KVK estimation app and it will work. Uh, and we know this number is mostly correct because the most difficult part is done for me and all the other stuff is just like calculations. So yeah, I end up with 80,000. So it saves around 2000 euros on well, a little bit less actually. Like all of the, sh 
stuff you saves me around uh, 1800 euros which you know may not have been worth my time but i think it's important to keep in mind that uh, after the first year uh, the upstart costs are gone and we can set it to the recurring costs which is uh 2740 so if we put it, that number in uh, this one then so if we put 2740 because like this is uh 2700 40 because this this column actually is because of me fucking up and uh, next year my income will be lower so we can you know leverage the bv structure more and we end up with eighty eight thousand. so this is like um 10 000 euro improvement right you know, of income furthermore another thing i want to point out is that we're not going to do this part so we're not going to emit the dividend taxes at all uh, so it's not just saving me ten thousand it's gonna save me 27,000 in taxes because we're we're just um, gonna like kind of perpetually keep this money in the holding company until some point in the future. Yeah, I wanna like show uh, how I take into account this um, because I put it on my balance sheet as well for my, you know, net worth calculations. So what I do is I have this equity in the holding and this is essentially uh, the net worth of the holding company so that's you know equity and holding and then what i do is i put uh divert different tax here so i i'm pretending this is like a zero percent loan i'm having to the tax service because eventually if i want to get the money out i have to pay some kind of tax and that's uh what this is encoding uh and you can see it's already higher than i have in uh, my estimations because all right, I brought in I brought in my brokerage account, and I'm not actually sure. I I hope that it would lower my income tax, but I think I kind of failed with that, so it was probably a bit of a mistake. But you know, if the return shares go to zero, then I may save a little bit on this profit tax. I don't think the return shares are going to zero though, so we'll see what happens. But if that happens, I I'd be quite happy um, that I did this. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be happy. I would prefer that they not go to zero, but there, there you go. Um, yeah, it was just a backup plan. Yeah, so that's it for this video. It's just like a quick update on the BV structure and how the estimations are going. So yeah, we ended up saving this year around 2000. I mean, like we saved this year around, I'm looking at it, like 1500 euros. Like it's a little, little bit less even. It's like 1300 euros. So probably not worth our time if you look at it like that. But we're not going to pay this tax. So uh, we actually have a lot more money available to do things with in our business because we are going to keep it in our business and yeah like the thing i'm going to do with it is probably just uh, put it in you know stocks like the s p 500 or whatever and just uh you know keep it growing but maybe in the future i could do other stuff with it i don't know <laughs> we'll see anyway um if you have any comments please leave a comment below I i've got quite a bit of questions about this bv stuff so uh, and i'm like happy to talk about it because i'm quite interested by it as well that's why i make these videos right um and if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, and see you all next time. <laughs>